Hey everyone, my name's Ina and welcome back to my channel. And before you ask, I just did a makeup tutorial on this look right here, but I think it is actually not up yet. So if it is already up, I will put a link in the description box below or just wait for it. It just might be up sometime next week. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, today's video is going to be my monthly favorites, my November favorites video. I finally got the month right. Anyway, I just can't believe that we are already in December and malapit na mag 2016. Oh my gosh, mag-2016. <sighs> na ako sa 2016 and I'm still not ready to be an adult even though I am already considered an adult. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about life right now and how I don't want to do adult stuff. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so I actually have a lot of makeup products to share with you guys in this monthly favorites video. But first, I want to share with you some... Oh, by the way, I have a new hair color right now. It's actually just the same as the previous hair color that I had before. But this one is just a bit more vibrant. It's still a bit damp as of the moment, so it looks a bit bleh. I really like this hair color on me. I really like coppery shades on me. I don't know. Gusto ko lang yon. And I don't have the right brow product for this hair color. Because ngayon ko lang to pinakolor. Let's just look past that. And the first things that I want to share with you guys in this monthly favorites video are some hair <laughs> hair care products. So first, I want to share with you my super, super most favorite hair product for this month. It is this Clario Professional Hair Repair Lotion, and this contains 260 ml of the product. I purchased this from Ink Heart Shop, and I'll put a link in the description box below. This is just such a nice hair repair lotion. I actually posted a picture on my Facebook page. If you don't follow me on Facebook, you better follow me on Facebook because I actually do mini reviews on Facebook. I post my everyday makeup or daily life or thoughts or whatever so go ahead follow me on Facebook and Instagram all of the links will be in the description box below but I recently posted a picture of this and how it just made my hair less buhag hug because you know I got really wavy hair and my hair just gets really buhag hug if you watch my vlogs you would probably know how my real hair looks like the, like the real texture of my hair there's an airplane passing by. Lagi na lang pag nafi-film ako, may airplane na nagpapas by. Am I in focus? I can't even tell. Ayan, wala na yung airplane. Oops. Oh, and you Okay, so I really like this hair repair lotion just because it makes my hair less bug hug It makes my hair less puffy and it really tames my hair and makes it more manageable It makes my hair look really shiny as well. It's softer, much easier to manage, easier to comb and it smells really nice Your hair will smell nice for a good two to three days and you know I don't wash my hair every day Very affordable but very efficient as well Super love it. Alright, up next is something again from Ink Heart Shop. This one she actually gave to me. So thank you so much, Ashlyn, for giving this one to me. Um, this is the Verdon Organic Nourishing Keratin Hair Spa in Pomegranate Juices. And guys, this is such a big old tub of like a conditioner or hair treatment. It smells like pomegranate, just like how the name suggests. It doesn't smell cheap or your hair will actually smell unique. Like, diba, kapag na cream silka lang or whatever conditioners are out in the supermarket. You would smell like other girls pag sumakay ka ng jeep. Diba, same kayo ng smell ng hair ng other girls. But with this one, hindi kayo same ng smell. And what I love about this is that the smell is not obnoxious at all. I really like this as well because it takes the place of my conditioner. And this is a big old tub for only like 150 pesos. Very affordable so swak sa budget pasok sa banga and it makes your hair really soft really shiny really manageable as well now as you can see super konti pala na nagamit ko ayan and i've been using this a lot like for a month and a half i believe nakalimutan ko na. but this is such a good buy you gotta try it out for yourself all right now up to some other hair care products i have here some keratin hair reconstructors from pretty angel shop she gave this to me sometime last month i believe no last last month kasi December na ngayon so yeah she gave these to me and thank you so much Shirlene for letting me try these really nice keratin hair reconstructors ano ba may iba na namang airplane marami tong airplane ang papas by kapag midnight it's 1am right now kasi I wanted to film late para walang maingay and marami pa rin maingay ano ba so marami nagsasabi that these are actually the same product but for me I actually think that this is way better because it smells better ewan ko is it just my nose this is actually what I used on my hair today after the luto nung hair color. This is what I use para my conditioner or my treatment and I really like it. It doesn't look like my hair was damaged at all. It still feels very soft and very manageable and very bouncy. I tell you, you gotta try these out for yourself because 
they're just such good buys and if you have like dry damaged hair from coloring rebond or whatever you did to your hair try these out and you will truly know what I mean. So let's move on to some of the other non-makeup items. I have here the Bobbi Cuticle Oil. I actually featured this in a recent haul not so long ago. And this contains avocado extract, almond oil, almond, almond, almond 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 oil and vitamin E it says here it softens and moisturizes cuticles and prevents hangnails the claims are really true I really like this I've been using this a lot this month Ugh. excuse me every time I use this I always wake up with really nice moisturized cuticles and I don't need to go to the parlor because my cuticles look really nice but yeah you gotta try this out very affordable 30 something pesos lang to and you can find this like in Watson's SM department store or wherever marami Alright, up to some other non-makeup items. I have here two nail polishes, which I have been using a lot this month. This one is the OMG, oh my girl, nail lacquer in the shade Happy Hour. This one has like micro glitters in it, so it has like a cranberry feel to it with a bit of bronze as well. So it's really, really nice. I've been using this in a lot, in a lot of my videos lately, and every time I upload a video, na ito yung gamit ko sa nails ko. A lot of you really like the color in my nails, and a lot of you ask me what is on my nails. So it's just this one OMG nail polish in the shade Happy Hour. What I love about this one is that it lasts on my nails for about a couple of weeks, two weeks actually. And it doesn't chip, it doesn't fade. Okay talaga siya, I really really like it. I don't know, probably it's because it's a glitter nail polish. Probably that's why the staying power is awesome. However, it is quite hard to remove. Parang gel polish din siya remove. You have to wrap your nails in like acetone and foil or like just scotch tape. And then this other favorite is the My Posh Nail Polish in the shade Tan. And what I totally love about the My Posh Nail Polishes is that they are super freaking affordable. 15 pesos lang isa nito. It is actually my first time to try it out on my nails right now. As you can see, they look so nice, so feminine and so classy looking lang talaga. It doesn't look trashy at all, doesn't look dirty. Super like it as in. Plus, I like the applicator as well because it's not fat. Like, manipis lang yung applicator niya. See? So, very easy lang to apply on your nails. Alright, now we're moving closer to the makeup items. This is the last non makeup item. It's the Gatsby Oil Clear Sheet, not the powdered paper, which I just don't like. Anyway, this oil clear sheet is one of my favorites. I've actually mentioned this in a favorites video, but I just wanted to mention it again. Um, I use this almost every day of my life, and every time I do like a review for face stuff, I always use this to blot away the oils from my face. What I love about it is that very good on quality niya. When you apply this on your face, the oil doesn't transfer on your fingers. It just stays on the oil clear sheet itself. And even though like mira ng oil dun sa part ng oil blotting sheet, and then you you press that here on on the other cheek, hindi na transfer yung oil on your face, di ba? So I really like it. It really absorbs the oils and it doesn't transfer on your skin. That's what I really like about it. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's move on to the makeup items, what we all came here for. And guys, I'm sorry if it is a bit noisy. It's just super hot. I had to turn on my AC. I do apologize. So I have two foundation <laughs> so I have two foundations which pasok sa banga I really really love this month. The first one is my ultimate favorite for this month. It's the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. I have mine in the shade beige too, which is actually a bit dark for me. I need to get a lighter shade, but I don't know. Medyo mahalito, so I might just finish this up first. This one is made for combination to oily skin, which is what the situation is right here. And I really really like it. I actually have a first impression review of this here in my channel. I'll put a link in the description box below in case you want to check it out. What I love about this is it is really matte on the face and it really keeps your face matte all throughout the day. This one really does the job better than most of my matte foundations and it's very lightweight on the face. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It's just wonderful. It comes in this really nice handy tube as well so it's perfect for traveling. I have no bad things to say about this foundation at all. Alright and then the other foundation that I have to share with you guys today is this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I have mine in the shade Ivory and it says here that it is a lightweight shine control foundation and I really really agree. Truly lightweight and what I love about this one, actually what I love about both of these is that 
they're perfect for on-the-go ladies because they're so easy to blend as in you can use your fingers a brush or a sponge with these and you get best results I love using a brush I'm just a brush girl I just I'm a brush girl and I love it moving on to some powders what I've been loving to set my powder lately is this Nichido final powder in the shade creamy glow I've been using this a lot and tignan nyo naman Super dami pa rin ang laman as in. With this one, you actually get a powder puff. And this is what I've been using lately. Um, I just like pounce it over my face to really lock in that coverage and to really set that foundation in place. And then I just leave that on my face for a good, I don't know, two to three minutes. Like while I'm doing my brows, I just let the powder bake on my face. After doing my brows, I think that would actually take me five to ten minutes. That's when I brush off the powder and it leaves me with a nice matte finish, really poreless, flawless looking coverage. And I really like it. It's just a really nice light powder and no coverage no oil control but it's really nice to set your foundation with because it's super light and it doesn't make it look cakey well this is gonna be such a long favorites video I do apologize let's move on to the contouring powder that I've been loving using this month and it is the show will perfect powder mind you I have like a first impressions on this product as well and the other face products that I'm going to share with you with you today so I'll put a link in the description box below as well. Anyway, this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, it's a very nice subtle contouring powder. Perfect shot for light skin tone people. That's what it looks like right there. As you can see, it has like a purple undertone, which if you look at your natural shadows on your face, you would see that it actually has some purple undertones in it. So this is actually perfect for contouring. Plus it smells really nice. Kind of smells like a lotion, like my... Eliza Ashley lotion smells like that plus it has a good sized mirror as you can see and I have mine in the shade 003 they also have other shades for this powder right here they have like a bronzer shade and a face powder shade and it's only 168 pesos super affordable and then the bronzer that I've been loving using this month is this one from forever 21 Ayan, ganyan siya. it just says their bronzer and this is what it looks like inside it doesn't have a mirror which is kind of a bummer I really love this bronzer so Sometimes I use it as an eyeshadow as well and that is what it looks like right there It's kind of a warm bronzer so it really adds a lot of warmth on your face on your complexion Which I think would really go well with my warm colored hair It is a bit powdery though so you really have to tap off the excess when you use this bronzer But pigmentation is there it lasts for the whole day Now on to another Forever 21 product This is the Lemon Beauty by Forever 21 blush and highlighter and It looks like this the packaging totally sold me with the rose gold naganak jan and tignan nyo naman ang blush. It's in the shape of like three connected hearts and you have like a pinky tone highlight right there. I truly truly adore the highlight in this kit as you can see. Lalo na if I have like a pinky tone eyeshadow, this is totally the highlight that I would wear. But even though wala akong eyeshadow, this is the highlight that I like gravitate towards. The blush is not really my favorite because it's not super blendable and means that it's kind of streaky so it's not my favorite but that highlight though makes me look like a glowing goddess all the time so yeah I really like it this one is also included in that first impressions that I mentioned so go ahead and check it out in the description box below oh this is actually also included in that first impressions this one is the sassy colors radiant glow powder blush with vitamin E and it's in the shade creamy cinnamon that is what the shade creamy cinnamon looks like I really really like this blush it's a bit powdery but it feels very creamy actually and it's very easy to blend that's the shade right there isn't it such a pretty blush I mean I totally love it and it's not a matte blush so it adds a bit of glow on your cheeks and it makes you look really radiant I really really like it I've been using this a lot this month actually I really gravitate towards this blush all the time because it just matches a lot of my eye looks and super love it now let's move on to some eye products my favorite 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 eyeshadow for the month is a repeat this is my sans San single eyeshadow in the shade warm copper fire and you know how i like my warm shades on the eyes so i've been using this a lot totally hindi pa rin siya na wawala sa aking favorites it's just a really nice quality single eyeshadow 
really easy to blend, really opaque, and super affordable, and it lasts you such a long time. I have mine for, you know, almost two years, and still working great. Wala pa rin ako nakikita ang pangit nito. The only thing is that the packaging is a bit flimsy, but what would you expect from 50 pesos, right? And then, while I'm feeling fancy, this month I've been using this Ulta eyeshadow quad which I got from my cousin from the US. So this is what it looks like inside. It actually had like a sponge tip applicator here but I already threw that away. So you have four shades in this Ulta eyeshadow quad. The shadows here are like satin finishes. I really really like it. Those are all the shades in this eyeshadow quad from Ulta. Finally for the eyes, um, I have here my favorite favorite false lashes to use this month. And this is actually what I have on my eyes right now. This is the Love Me False Eyelashes. This one is in the style ML066, if you can even see that. This is what the eyelashes look like in the package. Ayan, super, super love this one as well. Really like it. And the good thing about this one is that they're really sturdy. They're a bit tricky to apply. You really need to practice applying this because the band is a bit thick. So if you're not used to applying false lashes, it may be a bit hard to apply. I really like it. However, I find that I need to curl them along with my natural lashes because it just looks a bit better that way because they tend to like face down. Plus, this is only 75 pesos here in APM Mall. Sa She. She na boutique. Sa APM Mall. Andito. Andon. Marami nito. Finally, we are down to the last few products and those are the lip products. First, let me talk about these two lip pens from Showill. They're the Showill Makeup Lipstick. Um, translucent Silky Lipstick Pencil. And these are not translucent whatsoever. They are super pigmented. I have this one in the shade 007. As you can see, it is super, super opaque and very pigmented. Sang swipe lang, kulay agad siya. No tugging on the lips whatsoever. They are very moisturizing as well. Super good for everyday use. Doesn't dry out your lips at all. And this one is in the shade 008. Very nice color din siya. Ayan. See? Plus, these are super affordable. These are only 98 pesos each. So, go na. Run to your nearest chill counter and get these ones for yourself. Promise, hindi kayo magsisisi. They're not that long-lasting. Okay pa rin siya for me. And then, another favorite lip product this month is the Fashion 21 All Day Matte Lipstick in the shade All Day Bronze. And probably alam niyo nga na biging favorite ko to because I've been using this a lot this month. And I also have a first impression review of this product here in my channel. I'll put a link in the description box as well. This is the lip color right here as you can see. It is such a beautiful lip color, diba? Super love it! And ito yung swatch niya. Isn't, isn't, isn't that such a gorgeous shade? I love it. It lasts for a long time on my lips, even after I eat. And dun parin siya. However, shampoo magpi fade parin siya. But for the price, it's such a good quality lipstick and super easy to find readily available. You gotta try it out for yourself. Alright, now we're down to the last few items in this haul video. And they are these Revlon Matte Bomb Stains. I also have a first impression review of this one here on my channel. I'll put a link in the description box below. But I have four shades right here. I love them all, but I gotta tell you, this one is my absolute favorite out of the bunch. It's the one in the shade Sultry. I actually have this one on my lips as of the moment. I just topped it off with a bit of Shameless to para maging bagay siya sa look ko ngayon. And this is what the shade Sultry looks like. I super love these matte bombs from Forever 21. No, huh. I really love these matte bombs from Revlon because of the shade right there. It's very easy to carve out your lips kasi para lang siyang Crayola, di ba? You don't need a lip liner anymore. It doesn't feather out of my lip lines. It's very easy to apply, very opaque, very moisturizing. And the smell is one of my favorite scents of all time, which is peppermint. I really, really love it. Alright guys, so that sums up our November favorites video this month. And super dami nang na-share ko today. Uh, Pasensya na kayo. Medyo mahaba tong video na to. But I hope that you enjoyed watching. Sana hindi kayo na bored. If you enjoyed and kung may natutunan kayo, if this was helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe <laughs> para you will be notified every time I upload a video. It's free. I upload videos every 
other day. Talagang, I'm trying hard to upload videos every other day. By the way, I do apologize if some of my videos will be late this week because my brother is actually gonna have an operation and I will be the one to attend to him in the hospital. Ako yung magbabantay sa kanya. So I don't know how the internet connection in the hospital will be. Kasi yung gagamitin namin is data lang. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please leave me your comments in the comment section below. What are your favorite products this month? Please tell me. I would really like to know. And follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All of the links will be in the description box below. That's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!